Radio Echengelo restoring everything in Christ with love and truth. Good afternoon with the main news. I'm Kennedy Mbeo Jr. Kindly be informed that we are also live on the Radio Echengelo Facebook page. The headlines. Six deacons ordained as Catholic priests. Airing a bars and nightclubs in Chitilabombo is shot. Plus ECZ and political parties praised. The details. As the church celebrates the feast of St. John Maria Vianney today, six deacons have been ordained to the, to the order of priesthood. Archbishop Alec Banda praised, presided over the ordination mass as Valentine Gukka reports from the Cathedral of Christ the King in Indolda. As deacons and left as priests, these are now to be called Father Keo Vinivemba, Father Andrew Muila, Father Nicodemus Jimmy, Father Joseph John, Father Miguel Guterres, Father Marius Jaskot, who have today become priests. They were ordained by Cathedral of Ndora, Apostolic Administrator, Archbishop Dr. Art Banda of Lusaka. In his homily, Archbishop Banda asked the new priest to draw strength from the Word of God and the Holy Eucharist. Dear brothers, Nicodemus, and Miguel, Marius, and Joseph cultivate this intimate personal union of our Lord Jesus Christ. It is only if we are in love with Christ that we will be able to teach others about this union, this intimate relationship and friendship with the divine mind. Family members who witnessed the priest ordination expressed their happiness. The ordination was attended by hundreds of people in line with COVID-19 guidelines. For Radio Channel News, I am Valentine Kuka in Indora. Well, thank you very much, Valentine, for that uh, report. Of course, congratulations uh, to the new priests uh, in the diocese. Moving on to Chirila Bombena, the combined team over council and state police swung into action and closed 33 bars and nightclubs in the district that were found operating amidst the COVID-19 pandemic. President Kalungu has directed that bars and nightclubs remain closed due to a surge in coronavirus cases until the weather becomes favorable. Speaking to Radio Chingali News, Council Assistant Public Relations Manager Chigufia Chungu said the operation was conducted from 1st of July to 1st of August 2020. Ms. Chungu further revealed that the erring bar owners had been summoned by the Department of Public Health at the Council. Taking advantage of the closure of bus, other luxury bins and mobile bars within the CBG as well as residential areas. Others have gone further to modify their bus to accommodate patrons and obstruct us uh, from executing our duties. We are sounding a stern warning to all traders engaging in this kind of business that council will not hesitate to close them down and further recommend for the revocation of their liquor licenses. We have since heightened patrols to ensure adherence and compliance of all the COVID-19 preventing guidelines by members of the public, as well as business premises. The Electoral Commission of Zambia, ECZ, and political parties have been praised for conducting peaceful by-elections held recently, in which PF scooped majority of the elections. Southern African Center for the Constructive Resolution of Dispute, SACOD, says the peaceful nature in which the polls were held shows that violent free elections are possible in Zambia. Sarkod Executive Director Bonfils Chembe said the just ended by elections is an affirmation by Zambian people to use democracy as sure method of selecting legitimate leadership. Which is highly reflective of peaceful and violence free politics 
the Department of Design as, as design that prepares for the 2021 year elections. And there are no such peaceful elections. And one of the factors that has been in Okanas is the administration of the Public Order Act, which when administered in an amicable manner, the results is a peaceful and violence free elections. So I could only join the political parties that participated in the by elections, as this is the only way that we can sustain our democracy through political party participation and the people choosing the leadership of their choice through the ballot. To Masaitina works at the 449 US dollars, rather works at the 449 million US dollars full of water supply system project site in Masaiti district are reported to have resumed after being stored for over four months. The project is aimed at improving water supply in Indola, Luansha, Mpongwe, and Masaiti districts, targeting 678,800 beneficiaries. In February this year, CCEC, a Chinese company which has been contracted to do the works, reported that the works at the site had been halted due to lack of funding. Masaiti District Commissioner Patrick Zulu says the works were only suspended owing to the outbreak of COVID-19. Francis is asking the faithful to emulate the lives of the saints. The Pope says uh, saints responded to evil with good and were always courageous enough to love their enemies. In a tweet on his page, the Pope concluded by asking Christians world over to pray for the people who despise them. Seven members of the same family have been burned to death after the house they were sleeping in caught fire. According to police, the demise of the seven victims of Shisho Leka village in chieftainess and commercials chiefdom in Chongwe was reported by their grandfather. Police spokesperson Esther Matkatongo said this in a statement availed to Radio Chingala News. The French entered about 20 hours at Shishori Convenience Chief of Bomisha in Chongwe uh, District. Two other members of the same family identified as Lawrence Mudoleka, and other one, it's for the Shui. And also, gift Matrena is still survived with friends and have been taken to commit attention. Uh, Lawrence was on way is at uh, Chongo District Hospital. All of gift Matrena is in the Manawasa Teaching Hospital. The fire is alleged to have started when Lawrence was on way, was pouring petrol in a container which was a spilled on the ground and engulfed the house. The bodies of the deceased are in Jomo District Hospital, not about in post-mortem. This news broadcast comes to you, the community service of Radio Echengelo, with compliments of Moose Mili, Zambia Catholic University, and the Zambia National Building Society. And now, international news as monitored from the BBC. The offices of uh, a Senegalese newspaper has been ransacked after it reported that uh, a religious and political leader had been admitted to hospital with the coronavirus, supporters of Serigne uh, Mustafa Sai said it was a lie and issued a veiled threat. An official at the newspaper, Les Echos, said seven computers and other equipment had been damaged. Mustafa Sai is the leader of the uh, Tijaniya Brotherhood and of the PUA, PUR party, whose presidential candidate won 4% of the votes in last year's election. Rights groups in Zimbabwe said the military and police have continued to arrest dozens of opposition supporters and activists in what appears to be a concerted effort to silence criticism of the government. Zimbabwe lawyers for human rights uh, say, say more than 60 people have been detained and the opposition MDC says dozens of its members have been arrested or have gone into hiding. This is also growing anger there is growing anger, rather, outside Zimbabwe at the human rights abuses. More than 100 prominent African writers have signed a petition calling for Zimbabwe to be suspended from the African Union and the Southern African Regional Bloc. And finally, Donald Trump says the government should get a cut from the sale of TikTok's US unit if an American firm buys it. 
The US president said he made a demand for a substantial portion of the purchase price in a phone call at the weekend with Microsoft's boss. She also warned that he will ban the app, which is owned by China's Bite Dance, on 15th September if there is no deal. On that note, we end this afternoon's main news on our radio channel. For these and more stories, you can visit our Facebook page, log on to Facebook, and like the radio channel page and link to radio channel.radio12345.com. You can also watch the rebroadcast of this particular main news on our YouTube channel, that is Radio Chingala YouTube channel. You can also listen to Radio Chingala wherever you may be around the world on Radio Garden. COVID-19 is still real. Therefore, wear a mask when in public, avoid large groups, and maintain social distance. Avoid unnecessary movements. Wash your hands, or, uh, wash your hands frequently for at least 20 seconds. Cover your cough or sneeze with a flexed elbow, handkerchief, or tissue. On behalf of the entire news team and Chipoya Kauma, the camera person, especially to you, our Facebook viewers, my name is Kennedy Mbewa Jr. Thank you so very much for listening. We have the news summary artists now. Good afternoon.